Good morning, Emily. How are you doing today? I'm good. Thanks, Sarah. How are you? Well, I'm very proud of the fact that you guys, uh, you and Dave Coulier, are, are doing a radio show. I mean, because, I mean, this is, I mean, how long has it been? Uh, WKRP in Cincinnati? I mean, it's, I mean, it's been a long time since we've had something like this so entertaining. Thank you for saying that. And <clears throat> I'm, you know, I, I'm so impressed by what you do. I would have had no idea what went into it. And, you know, I got to be on the side of the desk that just got to like shuffle papers and, you know, check like my fake Twitter account. And, <laughs> Dave, and, and Dave was just like manning the board and like having like, cause that board is live. Our mics are live. Our headphones are live. And like, so we just, I was I, I was very, very happy once we like blocked everything out and saw where I was sitting. I was like, cool, you got the board great. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's it's a different kind of energy. And that's what I love about being live on the radio is the fact that, that it, you know, it's like going out onto a live stage, but you don't get to see the audience. You have to imagine that they're there. Yes, absolutely. And, you know, and I... I, I'm part of Groundlings in LA and so we do live, you know, sketch and improv shows. And so like that immediate gratification of like hearing a laugh, you know, energizes me. And so like, just like fingers crossed, I'm like, is, are people listening? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, is there, is there any time during the show where it's like, because one of the things and coming from a morning radio show, it, we always had to use the term, save it for the air, because if we discussed it in between the commercial breaks, by the time we got it on the air, it's already been spoken. Oh yeah. That's really, I know that was something too, because like, you know, we're, you know, you were kind of rehearsing and blocking things, but we yeah. also had our copy of, you know, the things we wanted to say, but you know, we, we were shooting like 20 pages a day, wow. which is a ton. And so, um, you know, like usually shows like my a good days, like seven, you know? Mm -hmm. And so we were just like going through copy and so we would, we would be talking through things and, and Dave was such a, selfless improviser as well and you know he is stand up and so we'd be kind of like riffing and going back and forth and he having a little like having that background in radio would be like stop like we got it just go with that and we'll and we'll and and like once we're rolling like i'll i'll follow you wherever and i was like cool so yeah i totally get that Brent, one of the strange twists in, in the show and and this might be too inside radio is jerry the producer because i mean when jerry shows up on the scene a lot of producers are just ones that just run the control board but jerry takes it to a completely different level he sure does and jerry's played by pat cashman who is just hilarious like he is this big giant personality and so funny and so present as a person and he would come in and like just like do like finger guns and like high <laughs> kicks and i'm like and it was like the the realness of you know dave's character tommy being like dude jerry we are on the air and he's like yeah yeah yeah, we'll figure it out and like just, <laughs> just coming in and and yeah just you know two you you know two dudes that are just set in their ways trying to trying to compromise and, and I love the realism of that because one of my policies when I was doing the morning show is just walk in. Well, no, you're on the air. Just walk in. You know, it, when, when people are in, in public, you know, people just, you know, come into the conversation. Just walk in. Yes. I love that. Yeah. And let's see what happens. Yeah. You know, I, I, I truly, I think I, I feel very fortunate that I get to improvise a lot in you know, my day to day life. And like, and I teach improv at Groundlings and I, I think it's such a life lesson and a quality too of like just go with it and see what happens like just like really be malleable so Let, let's, it was fun let's talk about the the improv teaching in the way that I, i'm a huge stream thinker i mean to to improv do you not just have to grab it out of the universe as it's happening absolutely like if you wait and i've you know totally done that of like if something passes me by and I was like, Oh, that could, have, I'm like, it's gone. Yes, like yep, you can't yep. go back to it and be like, Hey, do you remember what you said? Like three sentences ago, I'd like to talk about that. <laughs> like, it's like you, it's, it's helped me be more of a decisive person in my real life, you know? And because all you have is that like immediate, moment to react yeah. so i think yeah for sure i was reading some research the other day and and in that research it was telling me that your mind already knows what you're going to say 10 seconds before you even think it that is terrifying <laughs> <laughs> that's wild <laughs> but but that's where i want to live though i want to be able to live in that moment so that when by the time i do speak it or i write it and then it's like yeah we lived it yes Oh, I love that. Yeah, I know it, it helps you. I think, you know, being present is such a massive thing in life, you know, as opposed to like your brain is 
eight steps ahead of like, okay, I also have to do this. I have to do that. And so it's a good, good practice of being like, I'm living it. Let's yep. do it. Do you, do you practice mindfulness and stuff like that and exercise that muscle? I, I wish I was better at it. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I, w- I would try and I would get frustrated of not being great. <laughs> I'm like, I can't do this. And so I, I would end up just being more annoyed. <laughs> so I'm like, well, this isn't helpful. <laughs> I was like, I'll just go for a walk. <laughs> so is there a side of your personality now that you kind of play radio on TV that you would love to do something like that, even through a podcast or anything? I would love it. Yeah. You know, I love, I love the interviews were, I was really nervous to do those live interviews, you know, because you know, we are, we're shooting a show yeah. and like putting on this fake radio show, but we are doing live interviews as these characters. And you know, the, that, that was so fun. And it was very, it was just easy to like go with it, even though, and like, I loved like going back to the hotel during filming and like researching the night before yes. who I was talking to <laughs> and like just getting to like know these people that I wouldn't have had the opportunity to talk to was really cool. So yeah, I would love it. Oh my God. Part of the fun of radio is the show prep. I mean, if you don't show prep, you don't have a conversation or you trip through it and stuff like that. I love yeah. show prepping. It's so fun. Yeah. And and that was like one of the things about our relationship with my character, Tina and Dave's uh, character, Tommy, like we'd get our show prep cards and he's like, who's this? And I'm like, Tommy, figure it out. Like do your research. <laughs> so yes, I'm like, make these people feel special. <laughs> so now I, you, you, you called it a fake radio show. And of course, inside my heart, my heart, I, I teach broadcasting to different universities and stuff like that. And I always tell them, go in there and do a show. And they go, you mean do a fake show? I go like, it's not fake if someone listens. So it's still a yeah. real show as we watch you guys on this. You're totally right. Yeah. And that's like the mentality that, you know, that we had to have it's because, what was cool was Dan Merchant, who was the, you know, the showrunner and the creator and writer and director of this. Like he was like, if you mess up, go with it. It's live radio. Like if you flub a word or if you accidentally say something like just go with it, correct yourself. And so that was really cool to not have to be so precious and like hold it so tight of like, I have to be word perfect, you know? And, um, and he would just had, he, he created such a collaborative environment with all of us. And so I loved that too. Cause we would, some takes would be, you know, like 15 minutes long because they'd be like an on air set yeah. of like listening to the ads and listening to, <laughs> you know, different, different terrible jingles that Jerry was, you know, pitching to us. And so <laughs> that was really cool. Yeah, and part of the radio journey is when you have to sit there and listen to the same Michael Bolton song for the 25th time that day. <laughs> yeah, I, for sure. That, like, K-Hug song is, like, drilled in my brain. <laughs> you have so many different projects that are, uh, you know, taking place. I mean, you're working with HBO and my, Woody Harrelson. Come on now. That's got to be a, a gem. I mean, it it was wild. It was wild. Just, in like... I, I got to work with him and um, Kathleen Turner and watching them do their, like, just, like, watching them block the scene and just, like, our, like, rehearsal, you know, like, when you just, like, kind of, like, figure out what you're doing in the scene, it was crazy. Yeah. Like, it was just, <laughs> like, they, they could have shot it. They were so, so epically talented, and it was just really awesome. I'm, I'm very excited to see. It's called White House Plumbers, and it's about Watergate. And it follows um, Howard Hunt and Gordon Liddy. And I was very lucky enough because we shot in New York. So I was very lucky enough to go, like, go out to dinner with a lot of the cast. Wow. And and I'm just like sitting there and I was just like staring around the table. I was like, <laughs> I cannot believe this. Yeah. <laughs> what a journey. You've got to come back to this show anytime in the future, Emily. The door is always, always going to be open for you. Thank you. I would I would absolutely love to. Well, you be brilliant. And when you get that podcast or that radio show, we got to talk again because I want to hear that real experience about when those listeners are calling in, you know, bringing up their little funny things. Perfect. And if I get a podcast, I'll have you on. There you go. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> you be brilliant today, okay? Okay. Have a great day, Euro. Thank you.